I was speechless when she said that. The words were very encouraging. That is the moment I realized that I wanted to become teacher because I liked what she said and like like to teach and I liked the way I got response from that student and other students as well. So after that, I completed my PhD and after that, I went on to do masters in mathematics. So there also, uh, I completed my masters in mathematics from government college cafe. So I completed my mathematics studies after after that since I wanted to become teacher I want I had to join the air force. So I uh, we had these exams entrance exams to get admission for the B air force. So I went on I answered the exam and the result came and guess what I did not get I did not get admission for B air in the first year. I was very disheartened. I was very sad about it. Then I said. Let it be. I cannot do anything now. So I decided I will answer next year because I wanted to join the college, join that particular college only. So during that time, since I was free, I uh, I joined a course. I did my, uh, diploma in commercial application. That is diploma in computers. It is a six months course, and I really enjoyed that. So by the time I completed that course, the second year came, wherein I had to answer the exam, the air exam. So this time I said I want to get this seat. I want the seat in the end because I want to become a teacher anyhow. So two months prior to the exam, uh, uh, my friend had got admission the previous year. So I took notes from them from her. I downloaded all the YouTube videos possible. I took my notes as well and I started studying two months prior to the exam. So then, 15 days before exams, I remember I used to sleep very late and I dedicated all my time and dedication to towards studies. So then after finally, after studying for two long months, I finally got admission for BA. And currently I'm studying, uh, I'm doing my bachelor's that is BA in education uh, in Nirmala Institute uh, in second year. So for me, I had asked you all about success, right? For me, success was not only about success, it was about my failure as well. Because all these years I only experienced success. But when I did not get for BA, that was the first time I experienced failure. So, but I did not give up. I converted my failure into success. So, success does not only depend on success itself, but it depends on failure as well. And as you all have said, success also depends on hard work, passion, perseverance, guidance and support from your teachers, failure and most importantly, God. So since we are celebrating Women's Day today, I would like to thank all the women who supported me to achieve my dream. Women's Day is not only about celebrating the most famous and successful women, but it is about celebrating the women who always supported us, motivated us, guided us and stood by us, be it in our professional or personal life. So I am really thankful to them. Now I have a question for you all. Who would fulfill their dreams which they have in their mind? Raise your hand. Who will fulfill their dreams which they have in their mind? Raise your hand. I can see only few hands. Again, I will see the question. Who would want to fulfill the dreams that they have in their mind? Good. Okay. Who will work hard to achieve those dreams? Raise your hand. I want you all to say yes. Yes. Three. Yes. Very good. Who will keep the passion alive to achieve their dreams? Raise your hand. Passion is your dedication towards what you want to achieve in life. Raise your hand. Who will keep the passion alive? I want to yes. Yes. Little louder. Yes. Very good. So God has planned for each one of you present here. And it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of dedication and a lot of passion to achieve what you want to achieve in life. And my dear students, I just want to say one thing. Never ever give up on your dreams until you achieve them. Lastly, I would like to thank Sister Clarina and Sister Christine for inviting me for today's program. I really feel great and honored to be part of this beautiful program on Women's Day. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Good morning, Ms. Pratyar, Headmistress, teachers, sisters, and my dear friends. 
Okay, greetings to you on International Women's Day. You know why this day is celebrated? And what does this mean? Okay, you know why this day is celebrated?
we just made this one it was extra so i'm showing it to you will you all no so i wanted my brand so as i was growing vegetables from home i named my brand as casa de vegetables that is portuguese in english it is house of vegetables so that is how i started up my business today i am an entrepreneur i started selling vegetables i started selling my homemade produce from there later on simultaneously my other batchmates had taken bee keeping studied about bee keeping learned about it heard at least about it do you all know bees are they harmful yes they are not okay bees are absolutely not harmful they are your friends okay so my friends had bee keeping course and their problem was they were doing it in college and my college was like very very far from the city so for them to sell their produce was yeah, was you know a bit difficult so i told them that like, i will give give them my hand in selling like honey so what i would do is like get 30 40 kilos of honey all the way to sulpana and sell it here and margao challenge no very easy it is easy no okay so from margao to sulpana it is almost 30 to 40 kilometers one way not both the way so like going to that and getting the honey here and selling it for the task i had to run my costing also from there i did mistakes i failed in my economics but i came up i learned from those mistakes later on i met my seniors they asked me if i would like to sell some jaggery all the way from kanpur they would supply me jaggery and i would sell it here in margao next i met another one of my senior her name is lisa pinero she is my teammate along with her there are two more other team members named vandit and priyanka they are also my seniors in college so vandit and priyanka has their gobi compost unit and they make bunch of gobi these are organic manures which is a made in india farm so they needed someone to market their produce so me and lisa help him market his produce so lisa took over the north and i took over south and now i'm having my own farmers market in kumpole you all know where kumpole where is it north or south south excellent north okay so now i have my own farmers market i also go around guide people you are la- okay one question how many of you all want organic we speak about organic organic how many of you want organic only one only one so you all want all pesticide and chemical foods that you all eat right do you all want to grow your own food okay so for that people take consultations from me to grow their own food to make their own gardens to have even a small patch of garden people get guidance from me and i guide them i consult them i tell them what are the replacements for those chemical pesticides or those fertilizers for which they can use organic manures in place of the chemical fertilizers okay so i have made a step i taken this small initiative of providing people with something that is pure that is organic that is chemical free and if i buy my produce from someone i make sure that that person does not use any kind of chemical when he gives that produce to me or any kind of a malpractice adaptation when he gives that particular produce to me i take note of this because my aim is to make take a step in making goa a organic state which is the state in india which is which has got the title of an organic state do you all know do you all know okay sikkim has got the organic state title we want our goa also to get right so what should we do spray chemicals yeah okay so what what should we do You know, you can grow your own food in the pots that you have at home, in the old buckets that you have at home. Why not try it from today? Will you all? At least grow one plant, grow one vegetable. It's going to be 
solution for your family. Okay? Okay. So I thank the headmistress for in inviting me for this occasion and having me among y'all. Thank you teachers also for having me being a part of this occasion and thank you to you students too. Thank you. First of all, I'm Deva Karga Dita. Dita, how are you? Dita, how are you? Dita, how are you? Secondly, thank you sister. Thank you ma'am. For calling me here. For inviting me here actually. Mark, how are you? Dita, how are you? Dita, change was on my high school. I had come here in 2002 when I was in second standard. Okay? And I passed out in 2010. Okay? So I started, I did my 11th, 12th, my graduation in JVM College in Ponda. Then I thought, what I'll do? I didn't have any idea what to do. But when I was in 9th standard over here, I had done my martial arts. Teacher had posted me, teacher Rosemary and everybody, teachers had told me to take part in whatever you want to do. I didn't want, like I, I could do, I could sing, I could dance, I could do everything. But I used to never take part because I was mischief. I used to do what you will do, I will not do anything. I used to never take part in anything. But uh, teacher Rosemary used to always make me confident in uh, in telling me that you will be doing something at this. Kite na la kite tu kor and tu uir sotale. And mag this town teacher ya lagu ani sister ya lagu na alta winga. Kita kaun 8 years boarding school an chikla. It is not that easy to be in boarding school. But mag teacher ya ni sister ya ni wadu. I think so, I think so, yes, the teacher is like that, the sister is like that. So, you can not talk to the teacher, the sister, the sister, you have to always listen to them. Okay, I will tell you about my training school in my Valpoy. So, I did my training in 2018. I had applied in 2016. First time, I didn't get selected. But in 2017, I directly got selected. Because in 2016, the scraps are left post. So 2017 again I applied and I got selected. 2018 I went in the training school. Training school and what are your qualification you might be thinking. 10th standard, if you do your 10th standard, you can directly apply for police constable. But the height is 160 cm, 5.2. Okay, if you want to be in police department. Okay, and if you want to be in any any other anything, you always be confident in whatever you are doing. Always be courageous. Okay, so I went in my training school. I did my training for one year. Okay, the training is for one year continuously without meeting your parents, without going anywhere. It's a compulsory one year training. And now I'm posted in Panjim Police Station, and I'm very happy in whatever I am doing. Thank you so much. Mr. Hilda and all my teachers and your dear friends. I just cut short my experiences because of the time. I joined school I think in 2001. And from KG till my 10th standard I completed here. It is not easy to be the part of the same school, okay, and same teachers. But as I, as I remember all my teachers encouraging me, maybe mathematics teachers, Mostly teacher Rosemary has been the guide throughout our life. From 5th standard to 10th standard, she always motivated us. Sir Hemant also, when I was in school, I remember him teaching us math. And it was really, when he was teaching us, still today I remember, I always tell my catechism to a student also. So it's not, they always say, mathematics is this uh, difficult subject, but it is not. It's like if you practice it, it is like, I feel it is easy. Till today, you don't have to uh, just go on practicing throughout your life. It will be easy for you. Okay. I completed my, uh, uh, the thing, uh, <coughs> FC in 2013 with distinction. And then I took uh, science uh, in Pada Agnes, uh, passed out in 2015 with distinction only. Then after that, I answered she said, and that that was the moment you don't know what happens. And uh, first area came like my mother wanted to me to me to be a dentist. I just missed by one state. Then uh, what to do later on? Then I I wanted to be a civil engineer. Then I did my civil in Pharma Goody, passed out in 2019 with distinction. After that. Uh, 
that like you search for the job, you don't know what to do. Then soon after that pandemic came. I answered my interview and after that on March I still remember on March I asked, in March I answered uh, the same interview and soon after that on 22nd the pandemic came and oh no I lost my job. I passed out, I passed an interview and I lost a job. Then uh, for two years no work, nothing. After that I, in that pandemic only I completed my the same courses in software. Then I worked as an interior designer one of the firm. After that, I thought like, there's no interest in that. Then I worked in some of the other firms. Then now I'm working as a civil engineer. I got my PCP license and as a registered engineer, I do my planning at home. Sometimes I take a residential bungalow project and I'm happy with that. So student, I just want to tell you something. Stand up for yourself. Never think that someone, if anyone says something to you, you should believe that, yeah, in yourself. Okay, never think that, uh, never be dependent on others. We always keep up opinions to yourself, learn that yourself and stand up for yourself. Say no to people. Stop pleasing people. Like whenever your parents say, do whatever I say. It's like you should be happy in what you do. So always uh, set a career what you like. Set the dreams higher up. Work for it. Struggle for it. Failures comes in life. But that doesn't mean the failures you are going to be keeping up. You are staying down only. Motivate yourself. Yeah, failures come. But that doesn't mean you have to stand there only. So, Take care of yourself, make yourself your number one priority. First thing you have to make yourself the priority. If that happens, then obviously you are going to shine. Surround people with good vibes. Okay. And uh, always be always be supporting to your teachers because they take a lot of trouble bringing up your, your, and like motivating you to do and all. So please set your dreams higher up and work for it, struggle. Without struggle, nothing you get in life, okay? I want to thank uh, the Clarina and uh, teacher Christina for giving me this uh, opportunity to come in school after so many years. It's really nice to be part of this school. And uh, my teachers always say like, uh, you are going to miss this uh, school days. And uh, after passing out, I really miss the school days because in college life is far different. You have to struggle, a lot of tensions, a lot of sleepless nights. But in school, you just have to work, you have to just study and that is done. After that, like you don't have any trouble, tensions and all in school life. Huh? But in college life, you have to like, yeah, you have to work for your dreams, sleepless night, you have to work for your exams, everything is difficult. Please students, love the school days and enjoy it. These are the days where you won't get it back in your life. And I want to thank Sister Hilda and all the students in the Pike family and all your friends. Okay, thank you very much.